Right lads, here we are. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Glory Glory Man United. Big games today. We've got Barcelona away. First leg, quarterfinal Champions League. We did knock out Valencia in the last round in the second leg. Um, and then depending on how that game goes, we'll either play Sheffield United in the league, which, become, which is after, or we'll play Sheffield United off camera and then play the home leg against Barcelona. So it could be a Barcelona double header today thank you very much for the support on the channel so far so many views so many likes so many new subscribers and if you are new hit that subscribe button like today's video and let's get into glory glory man united episode 13 let's go Right, here we are. Fixture screen. As you can see, still first still first place. Things have been going pretty well, um, apart from the last game. Follow the Liverpool Liverpool win. 2-0 Wolves. 2-1. 2-0. 2-0. was Valencia Champions League. 3-0. We've just been coasting a little bit. And then the last two games, West Ham 3-2 in the Cup. We did make a few changes as well. Twan Zebe getting some games. Henderson getting some games. Um... And then 2-2 Norwich. We've, this has happened a couple of times. I think we drew or even lost to Norwich, I think, in the first season um, at home. They scored. They took the lead. We equalised. Donny van der Beek scored a good goal. And then they scored an 87th minute equaliser. But the league is looking pretty good. Where, what, eight points clear with seven games to go. I cannot see us not winning the league. We are in the Champions League today. We've also got a tasty FA Cup semi-final against Manchester City as well I'm tempted to play that one next episode but then there won't be that many games in between so we'll probably move on and hopefully get an FA Cup final I think the other draw was yeah, Sheffield United and Spurs so a little bit easier so we got the hard one but it'll be good to take on City in the semi-final but it is Barcelona today they are third Thomas Tuchel in charge they are third were they champions last season? No, they weren't. Atletico Madrid were champions. Who have they got? Have they signed many players? Yes, they have. Cancelo from City. Everton from Gremio. Gre uh, Gremio. Rudiger. Ruben Diaz. The centre signs some centre-halves. Don't know that one. He's a young young defender. And then Sandro Tonelli. So they've signed a couple of centre-halves. They have let go of a fair, fair few. Look at this. Coutinho, Dembele. Jordi, Jordi Alba went on a free... Um, Vidal, Rafinha, few out on loan. Arthur's gone 75 million. We were looking at him for Man United, but we decided against it. So there we go. I think the Champions League is a bonus, but it'd be good to see how. I think this is a real first, really big test for us with with being Barcelona, one of the big boys. I think you know we should have won. We should have won the Europa League last year. We had that absolute shambles against Munch and Glad back in the second leg when we were five two up after the first leg. So. We need to do something. What did the board actually want? I think it was just get through to the... Get past the first knockout round, I think. Meet, meet the quarterfinal. We've done that. So we're in good shape with the club. The club is, the club is in good shape. We're looking forward to the summer. And I'm still undecided about how to, how to do this save. Because um, I have got other saves starting on the channel. So it would be interesting to know your thoughts. Do you just want me to finish at the end of season three and four? Because we would have probably done what I was set out to do and rebuild United. Or do you want it to carry on? Let me know down in the comments. If it does carry on, it'll only be one episode a week. Um, or will it be good to wrap it up in sort of like maybe four seasons? We'll look at probably doing four seasons. Let me know down in the comments. As I said, I've just done a poll out on my uh, YouTube channel. And it will be there will be a Fenerbahce series starting at the start of February, replacing the Man United time slot. So Man United will move to either a Monday morning or a Sunday night. But we may keep it on the channel once a week, plus use it as streaming. So yeah, let me know down in the comments. Right, let's get into Barcelona. Let's get a team picked. I think we're going to go cautious. I think we're going to be cautious in our approach. We've got some big players to come back in as well. Looks like we did rest a fair few against Norwich. It kind of backfired on us. We are going with two advanced forwards again because I'm struggling to get that balance right. 
we may look at bringing a player in there. I think, I think we're going to look at that. So I, one one thing I haven't really done very often is play this cautious approach. We've kind of just gone toe to toe with anyone we've played. But obviously Barcelona are going to probably dominate the ball. Right, here we go first highlight. It's starting with the ball in our penalty box, but we've broke out pretty well there. We've got through that very poor attempt at a press and Zapata. A one-on-one -on -one and it's missed. It may have to be an FM20 rant video soon about how poor the match engine actually is. Everything else, the game, the five-year plan, um, all the new little bits and bobs in the game have been absolutely brilliant. But the match engine has been the poorest it's been for God knows how many years. And they don't seem to be doing... Well, they say they're not doing much about it. Oh, we're going to... Oh, just wide. They may be doing stuff behind the scenes and working on a new patch, but the one-on-ones are still broke. Defenders not chasing, still a problem. Wingers shooting instead of crossing, still a problem. Right, and it seems to be a problem for everyone as well. Right, Sancho, let's let's get back in the game. Me ranting. Tonelli swips it outside, out wide. Sorry, can we stop the cross? Can we stop the cross? No, we haven't. Come on, stop the cross. Kelsey Martins hasn't done very well there. Tonelli, what a strike. And that's another thing. No one ever tries to stop a cross. They just drip, they just run down the outside of them, watching them cross the ball. Look. No attempt at trying to stop the ball. Great strike from Tonelli. 1-0 down. We're going to abandon the cautious approach. We're going to go straight on to positive. Right, here we go. My centre-half is taking a throw-in. What the fuck are you doing? Right, Pogba. Back to De Gea. Maguire. Kante. Pogba. Kante. Pogba. Maguire. After all that, after all that, we've gone absolutely nowhere with the ball. Suarez is in. Good save, David De Gea. That was poor from us. We're normally quite good at carrying the ball when there's not a pass on. Especially Pogba. Normally gets the ball and just runs with it. He's done well, though, as Pogba there. He's defended well. And Gelson Martins has pumped it clear. We're coming up to half time. We've not done anything. I suppose they've not completely dominated. They've not had that many clear cut chances. De Jong, he's given the ball, gifted the ball to Sancho. Here we go. Can we punish? An away goal will be good. We didn't get that against Valencia, but we overpowered him in the second leg. I don't think. Hey, up. Hey, up. What's he doing? <laughs> What's he doing? De Jong's going all over the spot. Oh, yep. He's up. Brilliant. He's brilliant. That's brilliant. Love that. Cancelo. He's gone all the way through. Now, I don't mind stuff like that in the game because that was just a, a, a blatant random glitch. He's on 50%. He's struggling, is De Jong. Better dancing on ice. Right. We've been aggressive. They've brought off Franca De Jong. A 1-0 is okay. But once again, no Norway goal will be a problem. Right, Williams has got the ball down. Play, play. Kante. Pogba. Williams. Clip one in. Clip on him, he was there. Sancho wanted it. Pogba, lovely ball to Williams. Going with his right foot, half cleared. Pogba's underneath, he'll get second dibs. Pogba, I can't believe that was a highlight. Good though, we're going to encourage that. We've got hold of the ball a little bit. Right, messy free kick. Come on, David De Gea's done well. We'll see where this goes. 20 minutes to go, we may look at doing at least, at least two changes, I think. Freshen it up. Lovely kick, David De Gea. He's found Sancho. He's found Rashford. Go on. Go on. Square it. Square it. Square it. He's got himself. He's got himself. He's put it wide. That's a terrible miss. Terrible miss. Right, pause it. Double double trouble up front. Martial, Greenwood. And we'll get, get Martins off and get Dan James on because he sometimes just has that really good impact in a game. With his pace. Coming into the last 10 minutes though. Come on, we need a goal, don't we? We need a goal. Can we create a chance? Doesn't look like it. We're coming to the end of the game. We've lost it 1-0. I 
aggressive. Right, what I'm going to do is, guys, I'm going to play the Sheffield United game off camera. And then we'll come back for the sec second leg. Catch you in a minute. Right, here we are, back. Um, we won 1-0. Didn't come without its problems, though. Um, Baye got himself injured. Twanzebe then got himself half injured, but he's just fit today, so he will get the nod. Um, we went with an F9 in um, Sanchez. I'm doing it as Zapata today. I don't, I, to be honest, I've got deep line forward. So we'll do deep line forward because he might be able to do that a little bit better. Um, but we did have a, we won 1 0. They had a man sent off. It was a Scott McTominay absolute thunderbolt, was the difference. Um, Bernie got sent off for an elbow. We were in control. It was it was nice and nice and steady. And bearing in mind, we did have McTominay and Garner in the middle. So we're going to go De Lot on the right hand side just because he's better going forwards. So we're going to we're going to we're going to keep it and do what I did. Takes more risks, dribble more, gets into the pocket. Got a little bit of an injury backlog now. Van der Beek, James, Luke Shaw, Eric Bay, all out. We've got the Manchester City. I think the semi final. We've got the semi-final coming up as well. Big games, big, big games to come. Hopefully, this won't be the end of our Champions League journey. We're on attacking. Looks like they've gone with the same team. We weren't at it. We weren't at it at all in the first leg. Obviously, an away goal for them. He's going to absolutely kill us. Sancho, corner, half cleared. Sanchez is underneath it. Twanzebe. Pogba, clip one out to this left. He has done. Sancho, big chance. It's a good save. He said he was offside. Never mind. Right, here we go. Sancho corner again. Free clearance from Langlet. No one decided to attack the six-yard box, which is disappointing. Sancho cleared again. This is going to be a break for them now, isn't it? Come on, Pogba, get that ball back. Get that ball back. Suarez. De Jong. Everton, they got no Messi. I don't even click. I don't think they even have got Messi, have they? What a save that is from David de Gea. Am I missing something? It's not just not playing. I oh, struggling a little bit with his fitness there. Look, so obviously they've played midweek. They played on the Saturday and they haven't recovered in time. Right, Griezmann corner. Maguire's there. Griezmann's going to get another crack though. Suarez, Ooh, don't want him scoring, do we? Sancho's injured. Could have to go Draxler, aren't we? That's disappointing. Because Gelson Martins is so in and out with his form. We're not creating anything. We've had three shots. Three shots on goal. Right, Williams. Rashford. Williams. Draxler's free. Get in. Are we onside? We are onside. Julian Draxler. First goal of the season. He's barely played for us. Seven starts. Three in the Champions League. Two in the league. And he scored his first of the season. It was a good finish. Brandon Williams getting another assist. Nice little, nice little slip into Draxler. Terrible defending from Cancelo. And Draxler punished. Let's pause it. Let's go. Let's go Mason Greenwood. And we're going to go. Press it. We're going to swap him with Rashford. Can he get a massive goal for us? Sergio Roberto free kick. If this is a goal, it is game over. David De Gea plucks it out the sky. Are we going to play? <clears throat> it's gone long Greenwood's underneath it brought it down here we go Greenwood Gelson Martins could do we've been a little bit wider might look at that a little bit You're too narrow and they're in oh Williams has done well we've done really well now there's a chance for us to go again Kante Pogba to Gelson Martins he's done it this time that's better that's better that shit though. So what we are going to do is we're just going to move it on to wide when we have it. Just to think Gelson Martins' starting position is a little bit too narrow really. We're going to leave the last sub. We've not got a great deal. We've got Zapata um, and nothing else. We're not going to bring McTominay on. Williams is struggling. Right, here we go. Into this extra time. Surely away goals don't count. Do away goals count after extra time? This, by the way, football manager, is fucking bullshit. Absolute bullshit. Extra time played if goals are scored. Away goals. Away, they still get the away goal. So, obviously, a, a goal for Barcelona is going to be an absolute killer. Cancelo, Everton. 
block it, block it, and we can break. No, he's put it out to Suarez. Maguire's headed clear. Brandon Williams, come on, is this going to be a break for us? No. Sergio Roberto underneath it. We're pressing though. Go long, go long. No, oh, he's played out. They're going to get an attack here. Lang let. Deal with it, boys. Deal with it, boys. No, no, no. The youngsters in. David de Gea has saved our ass. Concentrate for fuck's sake. Right, Cancelo corner. Maguire's headed away. Right, we're just coming up to half time in the extra time. Looks like they're going to conjure up another opportunity. We've not had anything so far. Suarez, Fatty, playing it round us nicely. Come on, we are tiring a little bit. I was going to change the full backs and bring them back defensive because Brandon Williams is absolutely knackered down his left hand side. He's going to stop the cross if he can. He hasn't. Fatty's there. Offside. Give us an offside referee. Offside. No. Fuck. Two goals we now need. Right. The only thing I can do is we've got to put Zapata on. We've got to put another striker on, haven't we? We're going to have to go high. We'll take that off. Shoot on sight as well. We'll go longer. <laughs> Changing everything in our philosophy here. We need to also change some positions, don't we? We might as well just do a standard three at the back, can't we? The lot will just go in there. It's a third centre half. Box to box for Kante. There we go. Shit a bus. We need two goals. And we're definitely heading out at this point. We've not created anything. Pretty much anything since we scored. We're going to get knocked out. Draxler cleared. Are we going to get one right at the end? Draxler. The lot. Maguire. Oh, God. Twanzebe. We're not going to get two, are we? Greenwood cleared. Oh, and Suarez is in. We don't need this twat scoring. Could save David De Gea. They've been better than us over the two legs. So we are off. We will pick up the Premier League, but we are off it. We're not at that top table of European football just yet. That's for sure. And there it is, full time. 2-1. On aggregate. Sanchez is pretty out. Pretty much he will be out for the season as well. So there's another one now we've got to contend with. Right, guys. And that is it for today. I think next episode we'll look at coming back, hopefully an FA Cup final. We'll kick on right till towards the end of the season as well because the league is pretty much in the bag. Thank you very much for watching. Drop a like down below. Let me know what you'd want to see in the series. Do you want it to carry on every week, one episode a week, starting from February all the way through to sort of like FM21 like I did last year? Do you want me to try and wrap it up in three seasons, four seasons, five seasons? Let me know your thoughts down below. It'll be muchly appreciated. And we will see you on Sunday for the next episode. Thanks, guys. See you later. Thank <laughs> you.